Alright, this Asian Storm combo is a little complicated, but I'm gonna start with the things you will need. The basic Fireball Jutsu, the first one, and the second move Asian Storm, the third move Asian Storm, and the second move from Sengoku. From the sub-abilities you will need Sengoku Storm and Spirit Bomb Shuriken Rush. So, you will firstly have to pull your enemy with your Red Blade, use the Q-Spec on him, and then afterwards immediately use second move from Ashen Storm and then the Shuriken Rush. Now here it's, now here it's complicated. Move forwards, jump him. Jump him instantly and while you're jumping, click the bottom for Sengoku's second move. With the Fireball Jutsu, Senko Storm, and last move from Asian Storm. The complicated part was after Hurricane Rush, instantly moving forward and jumping him with a drop kick with tapping W twice fast. The reason we do that is, is simply because once you stun him with a second move from Asian Storm, it keeps the enemy stunned for like 3 seconds and within the 3 seconds you use Hurricane Rush and he will still be stunned. He cannot use auto dodge. But if you're too late, he will be able to use his iframes or counter you. So we will have to be fast, move a little forward, and then instantly just drop kick him. He will still be stunned. I, I tested it like several times and he could not he was not able to use auto dodge. So we will definitely also need a good ping for this. Mine is right now 90 to 100. If yours is higher, don't bother. So I'm gonna do the combo again, but this time faster. So I pull him first with Threat Blade. And this combo did 280k damage. So he has still 90k life left. And you have also 3 slots left on your list. So you could also start with Dual Electro. If you are good enough to hit with this skill. It will deal 44k more damage. So the enemy will in the end only have 40 to 50k life left. Depending on if you hit with Dual Raikiri or not. So uh, another combo will be... You will also use Kirin, the last move from Lightning, instantly after using the th 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 <laughs> second move from Ashen Storm. So instead of Shriek and Rush, we will use the Lightning move. So first, you just pull him again. Second move, Ashen Storm, the Lightning move, basic hits, stun him with Vetchuriken or Ashuriken, jump him. This is easier. Pull him and again Fireball, Tanko Storm, and Rush and Shriek and Rush. And he has 50k life left. And now he's dead. So this did... Uh, before hitting with the last move from Ashen Storm, this combo deals 310k damage, just to inform you. And with the last hit, it's a one-shot. But, I mean, it's not a one-shot. I mean, he can use auto-dodge after you rush and sure he can rush. So you should perhaps, while using Sengoku, just get the counter instead of the last move from Ashen Storm. Depends on if your enemy has auto dodge or not. Even if he doesn't have auto dodge, he can just block. So anyway. And one very important thing is, once you pull him with the second move from Sengoku, you have really, you really have to use the Fireball Jutsu. Because if you go instantly with Senko Storm, this Senko Storm stun will cancel the stun from Sengoku. So he will be able to use his auto dodge before you can hit him with another move, such as Shuriken Rush, as I did for the second combo, and for the first combo, it's Ashen Storm third move. You don't really have to use the Fireball Jutsu, you, you just have to wait, but instead of waiting, just use another move, which it does decent damage. What the hell? What you also can do is, instead of using the Bad Shuriken, you can also use Senko Spirit Bomb. He will be stunned from the lightning move anyway, so... And this skill does, I think, 33k damage or something like that. I mean, a little over 30k. It's a little extra damage. Right. Pull Nuibari. That. Lightning move. Basic hits. And then we can also do basic hits. Something. 
that ball. At last, and he is dead. It's a one shot. Yo, oh, that's nice, bro. I will. I wanna do that again. All right. Once again. Oh. Come on, jump him. Doesn't matter. You all know the drill, anyways. Oh, he didn't die. I mean, he did die. But only because of the Amaterasu. He had like 1k life left. But that's still broken. To be honest, I, di I didn't expect this to be this good. And it's... And so it's very good. You know, you can do this also a little more busted. Just get leave Harry Kane. And then do the combo. After sip after Spear Pump and the M1s and the Bad Shuriken. Just use the Leaf Hurricane and then do the pull for Sengoku. Or not. And this is then a guaranteed one shot, because Leaf Hurricane deals around maybe 20k damage. It might happen that not all hits from Leaf Hurricane will hit, but it's enough if even only one hit hits. The most important part is that he doesn't get out of your Leaf Hurricane, and you have to aim properly, and then use the Senko Storm. If you use it too early, you will just glitch out of Leaf Hurricane, so you will not be able to pull him with the Senko Storm move. If you do it too late, you will be able to use auto dodge or if he doesn't have auto dodge if you use a drop kick you'll be able to get out of leaf hurricane so you will have to be careful but that's busted this is busted hey anyways bro i'm gonna quit the video here and i hope you like the video also like the combo i mean more importantly i hope you like the combo and then the video all right so then i see you guys in our next video bye bye oh yeah wait and the reason why i use freaking rush Instead of the last Asian Storm move is because... Oh, the, all right, the bad part here is not even one hit did hit. I think maybe one hit did hit, but it's five. It's a five hit skill, the Asian Storm third move. So only one, did, one hit did hit, maybe not even one hit, but he had my ult has like 40k life left. So Russ and Shuriken Rush it is, bro. Anyway, bro. I'm gonna go out. Peace.